Hey everybody, this is Dave. Welcome to the Game Cave. So we're starting week two of B-17 Flying Fortress Leader World War II Strategic Bombing Solitaire Game by Dan Burson Games. Second edition, expansion pack number one. And just to remind everybody, we're doing the short aircraft industry focus August of 43. This is what I'm working after. The two targets I have to destroy are Regensburg and Schweinfurt, otherwise I, I lose completely. So I got Schweinfurt in the first week. I don't have enough B-24s to go after Regensburg yet. So what we're gonna do today is we earned enough, we have SO points in the first week, or the second week, so we get our SO points, so we're gonna draw. So I have four B-24 groups right here. We're gonna shake them up. And we're going to randomly draw one and it is the 448 and i drew an airfield already and it was a zero cost airfield so i get the 448 and the 448 right here it's going to cost me 18 so points they're a plus five air to air and a plus zero and they get a chin turret so we'll place them here. We'll come around. And let's see, I need a chin turret. Marker. Yes, I should have laid these out. There it is. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so we have a chin turret. We're going to add this group to us. And then the next thing we're going to do is do some recons. So we have two recon flights. I think the first one we're going to do is an aircraft factory. And we're going to choose Hex 14, which is up here. Way up way up here in the north. This is Hamburg. It's a uh, victory points or three. And the, we can hit it with incendiary if we want. We can take up to four bombers. So I now have a bomber group of four. And then there's also an airfield that I'm probably go after. But this is the first one I'm gonna go do my recon of. That's target number six up there. Again, here's our recon numbers. So four to seven, medium, eight or higher is high. Here we go. And we got a four, so we got medium. So we'll put a medium intel on that one. Then I have a second recon that we're gonna do. We're gonna do that against this airfield right here in Bergen in the Netherlands. It's in hex 12, four victory points. So we're gonna see if we can recon it and see what we get. The dice roll, a three, it's a low. Okay, so we weren't successful reconning. So when that happens, we have to roll because we're gonna get a different set of modifiers uh, based on that looking up the table real quick okay so just to show you here in the book so we're going to get low intel so now we have to roll it's going to tell us if there's any what the penalty is for this low based on this so we roll and we get hey it's a one and a one is no penalty okay so it's just normal. So that's a break. Of all the dice rolls, of all the dice rolls, that's the one I needed. Okay. So we have that. Now we have to roll for weather over the targets and home base. And we roll for over England is a six. Partly cloudy. Zone one, a two. 
and the two is mostly cloudy. We put a mostly cloudy right here in zone one. Okay, zone two is a one. Zone two is stormy. So zone two is this area right in here. So I want to stay away from that one. And zone three, oops, hit the touch tower, a four. And a four is partly cloudy. So that's one of the airfields, or that's where I was going and that's where I was going. So we got partly cloudy. So that's good. So we don't have to worry about um, running into any kind of bad weather. So we have that. So the next thing we do is select our two targets. So we're going to have flight two, and we're going to have flight one. Oh, I grabbed my wrong one. <laughs> that's for my that's for my combat. We have flight two going out there with flight number one is going to come here after that aircraft factory and one of the things I would have done um, really doesn't affect us in this mission because they're not going to get it but that supply for Schweinfurt came out because I destroyed it so I completely destroyed it okay so that's going to set us up uh, the next thing we're going to have to do is start selecting our groups for each of the two missions and getting them ready and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do those selections and then I'll jump back on here. Okay everybody we're set up for the uh, week two now. Um, we added the 448 which is, uh, they come in as green, so they're plus four air to air. Uh, they're a B-24 group. Uh, the first target we're going after is Hamburg Aircraft Factory. And it's a victory point of three. Their repair of eight plus, they get two bandits and B minus one off the reserves, but we're not using the reserve right now. So, uh, that one's key to us. I'm just doing a quick, just a quick look at the target card. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, but when we add the, what the uh, response is, uh, it you still cannot exceed that response level. So this just adds to to that. Um, and I just want to make sure of that. So I'll be right back. Okay, I can't find the specific reference, but it only makes sense that when you get over the target, he gets two bandits on top of whatever's there. That makes it a little heavier there when you get there to Hamburg, so they get, they're defended that way. Okay, so even if there was no airfield there, they would have two bandits, but because there's also an airfield, we're gonna have to endure whatever that is. Okay, so we selected our targets, we assigned our groups, we need to arm our bombers. Okay, so we're gonna arm the bombers now. So to do that, uh, we have in this raid two B-24s and a B-17. Uh, our B-17 can carry um, three M-43s. And our B-24, this is an aircraft factory, so we are going to take an incendiary. We're going to use it here with our lead group and along with three M43s, and then the 448 over here gets four, three, and four. So he's he's got four. No fighter escort with this group. Uh, we're sending them on their own. Uh, this is the target hex right here. So they're gonna go one, Two, they don't have any fighter escort. And then of course they're in, they're in there. Okay, so that's the direction that we'll be uh, moving this group. And so they're here at the base. And 
We need to roll. Let's see. All our tactics are set up. We're not purchasing anything else. The display's set up. So now we roll for the Luftwaffe response. Okay. And looking zero to the response. So it's whatever we roll. We roll a three. And a three is poor. So he gets a max of two, and the range is zero. So that's going to work out for us. Okay, we draw a target bound event card. AA fire. Roll for each bomber group. Eight to nine, one destroyed. A ten, two destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with the 389th, our lead group. And we roll a nine. So he takes a destroy. So we gotta destroy one plane. One Ooh, that's seven. Wrong one. <laughs> Don't wanna do that. That's one. The next one is the ninety-seventh. And we rolled a ten. That's two more hits on them. So the ninety-seventh goes from one to three. So this isn't cool. We caught some flak. And the last one is a 10. Oh my gosh, he goes to six. Oh no, that's the 100th, he's not in there. That's the new guys. So they take two. Okay, well that was a deadly set of rules off of there. We didn't like that at all. Okay, so they take off. Move, they move, there's no interception, and now we move into the target zone. Okay, first thing we do is they get three fighters. They have one for the airfield and two because it is Hamburg. First one, a veteran, Focke-Wulf. He goes there. This over. The next guy is another Fock Wolf with a frontal attack, which he doesn't do. That one had the out of the sun, though. He he does, and I don't have any escort for these guys. He couldn't have got there anyway. And the third one is a 109. Okay, so we have them. Uh, there, so now we just have to roll, see which planes are going to be attacking. Okay, we start with that veteran. Roll for him. It's a nine. A nine, he's attacking the third group. Right there. The next one is a four. A four. He's after the lead group. Okay. And then the 109s are an 8, and an 8 is also on the third group. Okay. So that's the order of attack. Okay. So they don't do a frontal attack. He gets the out of the sun modifier right here. This is the first wave. We'll just work our way down. Um, the B-24 is actually fast, so he gets to fire at them first. So we actually get a chance to defend ourselves um, against them. Of course, we're looking for a 10. He's a plus four. So we got a plus four dice modifier. And he rolls, and it is eight. So that's a 12. He knocked down that Fock Wolf. All right. So they're going to get, that's a, helps them with their experience. All right. Now you got the Fock Wolf attacking. He's coming with, he's, he can have up to three attacks. He's going after the 
448 on his first attack. He's plus two because he's coming out of the sun. He rolls a two, which is four, so one hit. So he goes from three to four hits now. I'm sorry, from two to three hits. Okay. And now the 109's attacking. And the 109 rolls a nine. He gets two hits on him. Now he goes from three to five. They took some hits there. All right, and we get to fire back. He's a plus four on his air to air. He can choose his target. He's shooting at the Fock Wolf group. And it is a six plus four is a ten. And the ten is the kill. So he killed the Fock Wolf. Oh. That one goes with those guys. All right. We go to combat round number two. The 109's coming in. He rolls. It's an eight. One more hit. He's up to six. He's at his limit now before he becomes shaken. And they're firing. Plus four. A ten. He got him. So he knocked down both of those groups. So... He got both of his attackers, but the damage was done. Okay, now we have to roll for flak. So, so far we're in, here comes the flak rolls now. Okay, flak on this target is two dice, six, eight, and nine are the hits. Two dice going after the... 389th. A 7 and an 8. 7 and 8, it's a 1 hit and a 2 hit. So that's 3. So he goes from 1 to 4. He's got 4 damage now. Okay. The next guy is the 97th. Right here. And it's a seven and an eight. It's the same result. Three. Except he's a minus one. Makes it a six and a seven. So it's two hits. So he goes from three to five on the 97th. That's the durability of the B-17 that the B-24 doesn't have. And now for this last one, it is eight and a six. So it's three more hits. So he went to nine. He is on the verge of breaking my oh my which means they'd have to just jettison everything but they're shaken now okay well we get the bomb so here we go we'll start right here I have an incendiary we're gonna roll for it it's a seven his modifier is plus one air to ground and plus one because of the target, plus two. So the incendiary at a seven, it hits. So we score one hit with an incendiary. So we'll put the flame marker on the target so I don't forget it. And now I have three M43s. So he's dropping all three of these. He's plus two. 10, 7, and 1. So the 1's a miss. So that's a 10 and a 9. That's 2 hits apiece. So that's 4 hits. So that's the first 4 hits. That takes care of those guys. 
All right, the B-17's dropping his. He's plus one. The target's plus one, so he's plus two. These are also M43s. Eight, nine, and eight. 10, 11, and 10, so he gets six hits. So we're now up to 10. Okay, so we have 10 hits. All right, one more set. We have four bombs, four M43s, and he is plus zero, so it's plus one. I'm sorry, because he's shaken. He's minus one. That negates the other one, so with no modifiers. Fives to get a hit. 10, 10, 3, 5. So that's five hits. Five hits gives us 15. 15 destroys the target. So I don't have to use the incendiary to try to see if we catch it on fire burn everything down <laughs> so that's twice i've used that haven't had to and had a hit and haven't had to actually roll for it okay so we destroyed the target okay now we can go home so we need our homebound event tactics defeated tactics defeated remove any remaining tactics counters from all groups So our chin turrets would be no good right now if I had. So that's our technology. I don't have any tactics to pull. Tactics would be like um, plus two against the enemy or something like that. Okay. So basically this mission's over because he takes out, out, and he's home. Okay. So that mission's over. And we're going to record our results, and then we'll be back to fly the second mission. So I'll be right back. Okay, one thing I noticed, I'm going to take it off, is that this out of the sun doesn't add two to his attack. It's two to his defense. Makes him harder to hit. So I would not have actually shot... Um, him down because he had that out of the sun defensive rating um, and I'll have to go back and double check it and make sure it still applies against the bombers I know that's definitely true against the fighters so I'll have to look that one up one more time I'll check it at the end of this mission alright so we're ready for the second mission of week two uh, we're going after an airfield this time it's in hex 12 ranges 2 I'm sending fighter escort. I'm sending the A wing. So we have three bomb, three B-17s going. We need 12 damage on it. The Luftwaffe response is zero. So and there's their flak. It's only one die. Um, and this is a dispersed target. So we're going to use um, the right kind of bombs for this one um, to see if we can hit the dispersed. So it's slightly different. Not a lot of difference. Um, so we've uh, assigned our groups we have to arm our bombers and so as you can see we'll use the M30s this time and they get a they're plus two with the disperse so each one of these guys can carry three of those Here's three. Okay, we're all set. They're all carrying the same bombs. All right, that's this group over here. So they all have the M30s, which is good for dispersed targets. All right. <clears throat> Bring this up. 
and we do our we have to roll for a new Luftwaffe response so here comes the roll it is a seven a seven is average Ooh, that was close average means they have a max of four fighters can hit me there but it's a range of zero okay and he doesn't add anything to the response or the fighters over the area all right so that's good okay so we need our target bound event card which is weather updates the weather in the target zone is worse than expected apply a minus two air to ground modifier great that's just horrible <laughs> not what i wanted when i'm going to go bombing so okay and now we're off we move one nothing there and now we're over the target zone first thing we do is pull for the fighter cover okay we're gonna get one and it is a fuck wolf 190 my fighter escort He's going to intercept him. We're slow, so he goes first. So he's attacking my fighter escort. And he rolls a no modifiers. He rolls a one. They missed. Thank goodness. Okay, I'm coming in with my fighters. And we got a two. We didn't do any damage. Even with a plus four air to air, a six. Still not good enough. We go to the second attack. He tangles with my fighters. It's a three. He needed a five to do damage. No damage. Here I come with a plus four. A seven plus four is an 11. The P-38's got him. So they shot down. They shot down that fuck wolf. Okay, so they got them out of there. Now we have flak. So our flak here is one die, six, nine, and ten. So we roll for each of the bomber groups. The first one is a one, missed. Second one is a six, one hit, and that's against the 96th. So the 96 goes from a 2 to a 3 for damage. Okay. And the last bomber group is a 4. Missed. Okay. Black wasn't too bad. Now we're going to bomb. All right. We're going to start with our lead bomber, the 398. They're plus 0. Air to ground at the targets plus one, and that bad weather that we didn't know about is minus two. So it's a minus one to our die rolls. And I gotta think here. He took a. I don't remember what his die roll was. I'll have to look at the video probably. I forgot to subtract one because of the durability of the B 17 and see if that actually um, caused that or not. Okay, here we go. Nine, four, six makes that eight, three, five. With these bombs, eight's the only thing to hit, so they only scored one hit. So this is gonna be a lot tougher here with that bad weather. So we scored one hit. Okay, the next group is a minus one, plus one, zero, minus two. A ten and two eights. That normally would have been a good bomb. So it ends up being an eight. So he gets one hit. So it's up to two. I don't even think we're going to get minor damage on this target. Man, that, that bad event card really hurt me here. The last guy is minus one, plus one, and minus two. Four, six, and one. So the weather knocked us off target. 
and we didn't do any damage to him at all really wasn't enough to even damage the target so we need a homebound event card and it is decreased Luftwaffe activity to draw two less bandits for any interceptions so there aren't going to be any because we went back out over the ocean so we're home so this was a quick mission we didn't really get anything. We're going to get a little bit of experience, but not enough to really help us. Okay, so I'm going to go to the uh, spreadsheet. We're going to make our updates, and then we'll get ready for uh, week three. Okay, so here's how we look right now um, for, well, let's go back to victory. So in uh, week two, we had the aircraft factory, which we destroyed. We got three victory points, but the airfield, we didn't get any. We didn't even do enough to even damage it. Uh, so we got one experience point for being on the mission where uh, the B-Wing got two for theirs. They had one fighter group shot down. They shot down a fighter group, and the fighter uh group actually got one uh, on their coverage of A-Wing. So uh, no promotions this time, uh, just gained some experience here. And then on our SO points, uh, we had used 18 when we bought that group, and then we did not buy uh, anybody or use any special bombs or anything. So uh, we ended up with 34 now, so we're going to buy another bomb group here for uh, week three, another B-24 group. I'm going to transfer uh, one of these groups, probably the 100th, back over to uh, the A-wing and then put in another B-24 group here. So that's what we'll do when we, as we get set up for the next uh, week. So right now, uh, we've gone from dismal to poor with our nine victory point. So uh, we need to hopefully have a, and, and we got a lot of damage here in the B-Wing. They took a lot of damage going after that uh, aircraft factory. Uh, it paid off in victory points, but it cost us a lot of aircraft. And we're gonna have to rest some guys before we get to week four, cause that's when I gotta go to Regensburg. So I need this group for sure to be rested up on their B-24s and ready to go as much as we can. That's gonna make tough on the 448th and so that's where we're at and so we will um, sign off for this one and then we'll get set up for week three hope you like what we're doing give me a thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you're new appreciate you thanks